Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Selenix Crypto and welcome to a new video on Jasmine. All right, had to make a new update. I covered it this morning, but um, uh, but when I covered it this morning, the price was still kind of stuck here between 1.2 and 1.1 cents. And we were talking about, all right, well, it's going to break out and we need to know which breakout is most likely. And what we saw uh, this morning is that the open interest was still very bullish. All right, you could see that that was increasing right here. Uh, so what I said is that, all right, well, it, even though the market circumstances are not ideal, um, it still most likely will break out above 1.2 cents. And that will rally up to this level right here. Um, I think this morning I said 1.4, 1.5. We rallied higher. I mean, uh, Jasmine has gone absolutely parabolic. Uh, so I wanted to do a, a little bit of an emergency update or at least an, an urgent update because that is what it is. Um, so that's what we'll do. So let's talk about it a little bit. Um, there's a lot to talk about, actually. First of all, the, the status of Jasmine right now, I think, is, uh, is, is pretty crazy. I mean, um, I know, and we talked about this in, in, my, in all of my Jasmine updates so far. So basically what happened, um, and I'm saying this very, 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 very simply, um, but in Japan, some, some um, laws were passed that allowed, or at least something was done, that venture capitals, so basically uh, in, in investment uh, companies, uh people with a lot of money are now able to invest in crypto projects or at least are able to invest in companies that only have a a crypto coin or crypto token uh, as their main as their main kind of like asset all right so instead of stocks or or um as um as as something um together with stocks so that's very bullish so that means a lot of money from japan where there is a lot of money can flow into crypto coins and which project is the main japanese crypto Jasmine, all right, uh, has some very good ties within J uh, Japanese business, um, in, in the Japanese business climate as well. So that's very bullish. But I have to tell you, I mean, if you look at, look at a move like this, this smells like manipulation, all right? There's obviously bullish fundamentals, but usually fundamentals like these, it would cause a pump. But so far, we, we've pumped like almost 3x, all right? That's not normal. And then if you look at where the volume is coming from, You'll see a lot of volume from XT.com, quite a lot from Bitru, um, BTC Turk. It is manipulated to a higher extent than most cryptos. So what's next? All right. First of all, we hit a major resistance level at the 2.618, at 1.6 and 1.5 cents. That's a big psychological level. Technically also strong, right? You can see this area historically is quite a lot of resistance. Basically this entire level. And I should maybe do something like this. This level, there's a lot of resistance. Apart from that, what we also got is a major liquidation. All right, you can see that we had a major liquidation here. Um, and the open interest is dropping down, at least in the last 30 minutes. I mean, first of all, it's, it's way too early to, to really say with a lot of certainty what's going to happen next. But I'll tell you, I mean, we almost liquidated $450,000. Um, that's a lot. All right, four hundred fifty thousand dollars was lost by people in in the last uh, in the last forty five minutes. So rest in peace. Um, but still, technically, Jasmine is holding up. All right, and you can I mean, if we zoom into the open interest build up right here, uh, you'll even see that the open interest has dropped down by by a couple of millions, like by seven million or so. Um, so that means that positions are being closed. Um, but the volume delta is is pretty much the same. All right, so that means that there's no huge sell off. There is a sell-off, but it's not huge. So the main question is, is well, can we actually break above 1.7 and 1.75? Um, if, if, if we break above that, we'll instantly get up to 2, uh, two and 2.1 cents, which as you can see is the next kind of major uh, level where a lot of resistance and support came together. So that's a possibility, but I have to say that with such a, and this is very risky to say when, when a crypto is this bullish, uh, but with the major liquidations we got and the, and the, and, and the sell-off of open interest, I would say it's a bit more likely we'll see a bit of a pullback here down to the level around 1.4 and 1.3, where we have the 3 a 2 FIP, but also, again, quite a lot of support. Um, and I think it depends, like, how we react to that level will determine what's next. Right, because I expect us to drop down there. If from there we can actually find support and the open interest still stays steady, because open interest is your best friend, you should definitely watch this. If that if that's able to kind of stay at one level and increase even at some point of time uh, from 1.3 and 1.4 as a support, 
will even break above 1.75 and, and uh, 1.7 cents later and rally up to that 2, 2.1 cents level. Um, so that's a, it's possible that we'll still rally up higher. I mean, just in general, when, when you see a crypto like this, it's um, almost very stupid to say that we're going to drop down. But I do think we will, um, at least initially. All right. You just don't see a big open interest drop like this paired up with a big liquidation like this um often we might spike up a bit a bit higher right now but i do think ultimately after that spike um we'll start to drop down towards 1.4 1.3 if we can hold those levels then i think we can still get a big bullish breakout later and rally higher if we can't then this is it and those are my thoughts now a little bit of a difficult analysis so if you do have any questions let me know down in the comments but for now i think that's what you need to know so thank you for watching i'll see you all in my next videos in my next emergency updates on jasmine uh, and take care bye